One of the most common problems I notice in the drawings of beginner artists is that their drawings often look flat without depth, and this often happens because that person just cannot notice this problem. And what if I told you that this is a very common problem but it's super simple to be solved? Hello, my name is Matheus Macedo, and I am specializing in realistic drawings, and in today's video I want to talk about how you can significantly improve your art by paying attention to only one, but a super important aspect of your drawings. If you're looking for free tips on how to improve your realistic drawings, subscribe to this channel, because my intention is to record many videos on how to get better at drawing. So let's move on to today's topic. To talk about this topic, I want to show you some of my drawings, including some very old ones. These two drawings here I made back in 2013. One is a portrait of the Canadian pianist Glenn Gould, and the other is the Romanian conductor Sergiu Celibidache. These were perhaps my first attempts to make realistic drawings. These drawings may have some problems with proportion and lack of detail, but the main problem here is the lack of depth. They are opaque, flat, they have no volume. Why does that happen? They are like that because at that time I didn't know what a scale of values was. Graphite can be found in different grades, but when I was a beginner I didn't know yet how much I could darken a drawing using graphite pencils. Only when I learned that different pencils can reach different values did I begin to understand what could be done. Here I decided to make a scale of values with my standard pencils. By the way, this is not a sponsored video, I'm just using the pencils I normally use as an example. As I usually only use grades between HB and 8B, I'll ignore the harder H series pencils. I'll also skip 3, 5, 7 and 9B pencils simply because I don't have them, and I will cover the area for each pencil grade in two intensities moderate and hard. Hence, using the scale on my older drawings, it is easier to see how many values achievable by graphite were simply ignored. I don't remember anymore, but I guess Glenn Good's drawing was done with just one pencil, and with Chilibidakis I may have used darker pencils, but they were poorly used. As I said, it is also true that we can achieve different values with a pencil, just by varying the pressure applied with the hand. As you can see, each pencil offers many possibilities. Over the years, I've studied the techniques of realistic drawing and managed to make drawings that I'm very proud of, like this portrait of Natalie Portman. I absolutely love it. However, as I'm always on the lookout for improvement, I realized that graphite has its limitations, because it can't reach really dark values. The most we get with graphite is a dark grey tone, but not a black. This is when other tools come into play to help us give more depth to our graphic drawings. There is no escape. If graphite can't reach black tones, we'll have to try out other materials. I'm quickly going to mention some options and I'm going to give you an indication of material for those who are more beginners or are more used to drawing with graphite. You can work with charcoal, which is certainly the material that manages to reach the darkest values. However, if you are only used to drawing with graphite, you might find charcoal strange. After all, this is a much messier medium, which makes a lot of dirt, so... It is very different from graphite. An interesting option is the black colored pencil. It can be a good choice because it is a material that everybody knows. I confess that I have not yet tested the use of this type of pencil with graphite. Have you ever tried it with graphite? Tell me in the comments below. I've also seen some artists use black ink pens on graphite drawings. However, it is not a good idea to use this material on large dark areas. After all, ink looks very different from graphite. So the result can be very strange. 
I would use ink in a drawing just to do small details on eyelashes or eyebrows, for example. In my opinion, if you make graphic drawings want to increase the value scale without taking risks with very different materials, such as charcoal, the best option is carbon pencils. These pencils can achieve values almost as dark as charcoal pencils, but they have a binder in its composition which makes them less messy and more beginner-friendly. There are a wide variety of brands for carbon pencils on the market, such as Conte a Paris, Faber Castell, Preta Color, Koinor, and some companies do not identify them as carbon pencils, but these pencils behave as if they were. If you feel lost with all these options, I will recommend a specific pencil for you. My choice to darken my drawings further would be the Stadler's Mars Lumograph Black Pencils. They are like graphite pencils, but they can reach much darker values. Interestingly, they are also harder than the graphite pencils of the same Mars Lumograph series. It ends up making them more difficult for you to darken larger areas, as they don't blend easily. However, this is just a matter of being more patient, and the result is very good. I use a firm brush to blend this graphite out, so I can soften its graininess a little bit. Technically speaking, according to the company, these pencils have a high proportion of carbon in their composition, and that's what makes them harder and darker at the same time. As I said, this is not a sponsored video, I'm just sharing with you my own experience as an artist. If you can't find starter black pencils to buy where you live, another good option seems to be Faber-Castell Speed Graphite Matte. I haven't been able to try them yet, but I imagine they are similar to starter black. In the future, I intend to make a comparison between these two pencils. Putting side by side the portraits I made using regular graphite with the ones I made using normal and black starter pencils, we can see the difference the black pencils make. Here you can compare the difference of values, especially on the hair, how dark the hair of Carrie Animals, also known as Trinity, is in relation to Natalie's. As I said, I really like my graphite drawings, but by using this series of darker pencils, I think my drawings have more depth and look better now. So, what do you think? Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments if you notice any difference between both drawings, and if so, which one do you prefer? My portrait of Natalie Portman or Carrie Annie Moss? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tips related to realistic drawings. And I see you in the next video.